tensions are high across the city following the suicide bombing at Manchester Arena on Monday night. 22 are confirmed dead, including children, and more than 50 are injured. I work in a pub around there, and um, I just could see people from coming from Victoria, very, met lots of young people, people on the phones calling the mums, and I hadn't, had no idea what had happened at the time. Um, and then the person I was working with was on a phone and basically was telling me that a couple of bombs gone off in Victoria, and immediately I was thinking, what if that happens at Piccadilly? I don't know, it's scary. I, I feel like in a way people expect this to happen if it's going to happen in the capital. You don't really expect it to happen like up north and when it's so close and you know people that have kind of been there and seen things, it's quite scary. I was absolutely appalled and shocked. I've got three kids of my own. I've got nieces of the same age, uh, you know, 15, 17 and 18. And I was totally heartbroken. In fact, I was actually crying on the train, wondering who on, you know, what goes to a person's mind. While details continue to emerge, Greater Manchester Chief Constable Ian Hopkins has called the bombing the most horrific incident we've had to face in Greater Manchester. It is confirmed that the bomber died during the explosion and ISIS has since claimed responsibility for the attack. Despite lingering fears, the community has banded together to lend support to police and emergency officials. We saw the news this morning and we just wanted to come, show our respects and just help to the police officers make sure they're watered and they're fed while they're on duty because they are doing a great job. Gillian McMath, Keys News.